should not jump into a juice cleanse. Hey everyone, Shelby here. Welcome back to Raising Wellness. And this video is a part of my eight day video series coming to you all about the benefits and the struggles of a juice cleanse. And today is day two of my juice cleanse. It's the third video of this series. So if you haven't seen the two videos prior to this, then I urge you to go back as they're gonna teach you different elements that will set you up for success on your juice cleanse. But today we're gonna be talking about the detoxing phase, those first two and three days of your juice cleanse. And just an update for you, here is a little video montage of what my skin is looking like and how I'm feeling. So you can see on my skin there, I have a couple of spots that um, usually I've done four juice cleanses. Oh, this is my fourth and usually around the second and third day I have a lot of things come to the surface on my skin. So those are just coming up and coming out and my body is releasing them. So that's what you're seeing there. And then I um, I woke up this morning, I had a bit of a belly ache. Um, feels like some things are being moved through. So that is about where I'm at. I don't feel tired or lethargic or anything like that because I had a pre pretty clean diet before this. Um, but we're gonna dive right in and talk to you guys about what you're feeling during those first two to three days when your diet is maybe a little bit more um, not in alignment with a whole foods diet. So day two and day three is when your body really starts to hone in and start to push toxins out of your body. And when you're drinking a lot of juice, a lot of those mineral, vitamin, nutrient dense juices, think about it as going into your cells and pushing out the toxins. So whatever toxins you've come in contact with from foods that you've eaten or the pollutants in the air or water that you're drinking or things, chemicals that you're touching, all of those go into your cells and they stay in there. And when you're doing a juice cleanse, it's kind of like scrubbing them and getting them to release out of your system. And then those toxins are being put back into your system and that can cause you to feel um, achy, have flu-like symptoms, be lethargic, be more tired. Um, you can have headaches, especially if you drink a lot of coffee, and more fatigue. So it kind of exacerbates maybe some feelings you were feeling before, and that's why the first two to three days are really important that you get through. But with that being said, it's really important if you have a super toxic diet, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, a lot of heavy meats, heavy dairy, a lot of inorganic and pesticide laden foods, that you should not jump into a juice cleanse right away. And the purpose or the reasoning for that is because you can actually cause poisoning in your body, cause an extra amount of toxicity that your kidneys, liver, and skin cannot keep up with. So. If you have a super toxic diet and you're trying to move into a healthier transition, before you jump into a juice cleanse, I highly recommend that you begin making moves towards that healthy lifestyle by transitioning your foods, beginning to exercise, come up with a um, nutritional plan that you can follow so that your body can release those toxins a little bit more slowly. And that's gonna be really important because those toxins have been building up over time. So it's really important that you give your body the time and the space to detox them slowly and in a more safe manner. And if you need help, with figuring out a meal plan or developing a plan, an exercise routine for yourself, you can always contact me. I am a coach and this is what I do for a living. I do a lot of groups online and I have a lot of clients that we work on meal plans, we work on putting more whole foods into the diet, we work on an exercise regime and I talk with you about what your goals are and what things that um, are ailing you so that we can tailor a program to you. So if you need help with that and if your body has a lot of toxic load on it, then I would start there because you don't want to jump into a juice cleanse and have all those toxins go into your body and actually poison your system and you will get no benefits of the juice cleanse since you have such a toxic overload and your kidneys and liver can't keep up with it. So <clears throat> with that being said, a, another really awesome thing like 
for me, I, like I said, I had a really clean diet before this, but if you don't, if it still has a little bit of um, processed foods, like just like every once in a while some processed foods, then I would highly recommend a juice cleanse, but also towards the end receiving an enema, and that is going to help to draw those toxins out of your system so that they don't have that toxic overload on your body and stress your kidney and your liver more than they need to. Um, if you guys need a little bit better of an idea of what a healthier diet looks like, I would look at some of my meal prep videos. I'll link them in the description box below. And also go back to the first two videos so that you can get an idea of what kind of food you should be eating before a cleanse. And in the next video, we'll be covering exercise during a juice cleanse, if you should do it and what you should do if you do it. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. There's a little watermark on one of these corners and you can just click on that and it will subscribe you to my channel. I come out with new content every week about healthy living, gratitude, how to live your best life. And I am here to help you guys, give you education about healthy eats and also how to feel good and feel better right here, right now in the skin that you are in. So don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little bell on the button so that you can be reminded when a new video in this series comes up. I will see you guys next time.